Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Court of Swords. In fact, the 90th episode. We've been doing this for 90 goddamn weeks, plus however many we've missed. So, probably 100. Yeah, were we, were we, counting, were we counting up when we were doing um, the Primordial Arc? Because that was what, like... That was 50, so was, that was 48 and, that was 49 Okay, and so we were, yeah. Right, so we were counting, we were counting up through those? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, so many episodes. That's yeah. Awesome. It's wild. It's wild. Yeah, Max will be here soon. He's, he's uh, role-playing the Invisible Man. He'll, uh, he'll join soon, so. Yeah, actually, <laughs> the, the, the argument that they got into in character at the end of last session, <clears throat> it got really out of hand afterwards. Yeah. Uh, and. Yeah, we just didn't oh. get around to recasting him or changing the overlays. So that's true. we're that's telling people that. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about. Yeah, we might as well. It's gonna get out of real day. Yeah. So yeah. Well, uh, yeah. We're I just mean, gonna I guess take that hard stance. Um, yeah. I have challenged, I have challenged Max, and he has accepted to a uh, a sword fight, so to speak, uh-huh. at uh, at TwitchCon, and. Uh, we are selling tickets to it. Um, we're calling it the Rumble in the Restroom. <laughs> yeah. Hey, good. That's thing. good. That, would, that was good. Went exactly yeah, right. Roleplay doesn't it, uh, sponsor or endorse yeah. this event. It's just Zeke and Max who want to fight in the restroom for some reason. I don't know. It's how they're going to settle. Sword fight. Yeah. Sword fight. Sorry. Right. It's an odd thing, but I guess you can pay for that if you want to. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't, if you didn't watch last episode, it got it got pretty intense. You should you should definitely have watched it by shit. now it's great shit was heated <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah it was good it was good we'll see uh we'll see what happens in today's episode and the follow-up of that uh, i'm excited for that for sure but before we get to that let's see what everyone's been doing adam we're gonna start with you you're usually last for okay. whatever reason what have you been up to you you were traveling question mark i've been away yeah, yeah like for, i got i got i got sick first i got really sick which you can kind of still hear like i'm a little congested still but i'm i'm better yeah. i got sick and then Kind of just as I was getting better, uh, yeah, I took I took four days to go to uh, Virginia, the the Shenandoah Valley, and uh, I went to a wedding, and it was great. And uh, I didn't look at my phone once in four days. Ooh, that that's really, really hard to do. Did you just turn yeah, it off? Did I you just, forget your cord? So, like, so first of all, uh, unless unless I oh, hi Max, 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 Max yeah, is I'm here. Oh, I'm calling from the shower. I completely <laughs> muted him. It's good. He's all, I mean, he's oh, X-Split. We, let's talk about it. Our sponsors today. Glad to have him here. Uh, oh, man. oh, anyways, talk about the wedding or talk about your phone. So, yeah. So the idea, I mean, when I'm in, when I'm in America, I, my like plan automatically like flips over. So if I just leave the cellular on, I pay an extra amount per day and I just get internet as if I was at home. But, uh, I didn't do that. And then when I got out to this, this, cabin or whatever where the wedding was uh there was like no signal like it was just garbage internet anyway so mm-hmm. i just turned my phone off and i just put it at the bottom of my luggage i was like i don't need that shit i'm just gonna do other stuff which i did it was great um that just yeah, sounds terrifying weird. i know when i came back i was like oh god here we go and i like turned on i drove across the border and my phone was just like motherfucker you're dead and just blowing up with alerts like i got like 14 trillion emails and Twitter and Discord's all going crazy. Uh, no <laughs> fires to put out, thankfully. But yeah, it was definitely like a, oh, welcome back, jackass. I got some messages for you. Mm. Hope you like messages. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm glad to be back. I uh, got up early this morning and drove, drove home from Seattle because flying anywhere from Canada is a mistake. So usually I just drive to Seattle and leave my car there and fly out. But yeah, happy to be home. Uh, everything I own smells like campfire now. Which happens when you like go camping. Oh. Because it's cold as hell at night and sure. everybody's outside drinking. And so I'm just like, every once in a while, I'm just like, what the fuck is that smell? Like, oh, no, it's me. I smell like burnt wood. So that's cool. I got to do some laundry, apparently. Yeah. Um, but it was, it was particularly difficult because, as you know, uh, I had recently gotten back into playing uh, Magic the Gathering and then I left mm. for the internet for four days and I was just like, Yep. So that's that's fine. I'll be fine. It's cool. I don't, it's rough, bro. It's rough. I don't need to. I don't need to play. It's cool. It's fine. I'm good. I'm fine. I definitely didn't just like play a ton as soon as I got back. I'm good. I'm all right. You didn't feed the. Is addiction. it on mobile yet? <laughs> no, it isn't. No, because that that would have broken me. There's no way I would. I would have just been like, I can make this shit to your internet work. I can do it. It will happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't. Do they have plans to bring it to mobile at all? 
Yeah, know? I think so. I think the plan is uh, I think the plan is to set Arena for for iPad. But it, I mean, it's it's still in beta for PC too. So I don't know how like aggressive their development team is, but hmm. yeah, I think that's the plan. Makes sense. Well, cool. Glad to have you back. Welcome back to the internet. Yeah, man. Me too. Yeah. Thank you. That's good. Uh, Dan, we're gonna cut to you. What are you eating? I gotta know. I saw the bag mm. in the pre-show, and I was like, "Ooh, I know what I'm asking, Dan." <laughs> I need something quick, so I got Wendy's. <laughs> Fucking Wendy's. Here we go again. What same? <laughs> what'd you get? The Baconator? What are we talking about? Uh, the double. Oh my god! So I, viral marketing works because when I was in when I was in America, we needed to pick up food, and I was like, "What should we get?" And I just, without thinking, just said Wendy's into my phone to see where the Wendy's was. <laughs> I haven't been to a Wendy's in years. And I went and I had a fucking junior baconator. And I was like, I just, I just influenced my own ass. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> so, good. It'll happen. Self influencer. It'll happen. Yeah. Did you get the frosty, Dan, or you just get a drink? Just a, a soda? No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no drink. Okay. Oh, no drink at all. Just the burger? Yeah. Just the burger and fries. Man. Old. I wonder if Old people man. there, when they take their order, just are like, completely confused when they're like no i don't want to drink it's like well how do you just get a burger like what are you doing and it's like well i lady i can just pay less and not get the drink <laughs> i guess that's the argument <laughs> i don't need the drink you know yeah. i'd be I'd, i've never worked drive through but i'd be the worst can just be like hey it's just i mean you can get a large soda for like an extra buck do you want that no are you sure you're gonna be real thirsty if you get all that food and you don't have anything to drink while driving gonna be real thirsty yeah <laughs> <laughs> just go to listen man now, i got a dollar what, right here i'll just buy it for you what You'll, about dessert really need this. yeah do you want to we have these cookies that no one ever buys but they're really good you can have it for like a buck i guess is what we'll sell it for maybe yeah that'd be fun i should do that well cool i'll let you enjoy your food here in the pre-show dan that's all i wanted from you <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> zeke what have you been up to oh the man huge. the usual i mean nothing nothing really exciting uh I do have like I have something that I'm doing at TwitchCon that I'm really excited about that's not on my schedule that I can't like announce yet or whatever, but it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be neato. Yep. Um, but also like looking over the schedule and seeing what's what's what and um, checking out like looking through emails like okay, what party am I invited to? Um, only one. Oh, okay, good. No, no, that's fine. I mean, no big deal. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just 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 gearing up. And uh, playing some, um, uh, oh shit! Whatever, whatever. Oh, oh, Bard's Tale. Oh my God, Bard's Tale. Great, it's oh. fantastic. <clears throat> yeah. Do they? Is it still bugged? Like, wasn't it? Wasn't there issues with that game, or did they get patched? Yeah, there was a lot of like buggy issues with the game when it first came out. The uh, first like couple of weeks, they were like, "Okay, we get it. Oops, let's fix this shit." And it was just, I mean, it was just a case of like, we fixed this thing. We created three more problems, but we fixed the thing you asked for. Mm. And that, you know, that shit just happens. But however, I have not run into any problems whatsoever with the game. It has been fucking fantastic. Well, that's good, at least. That's good. Yeah, it's been great. Um, it, it ticks a lot of boxes for me. Uh, you know what? I can talk about it. Draw frames. I'm just, I'm, it, I'm having a great time in it. I totally recommend it. <laughs> cool. The goddamn music in that game is so good. There's so many amazing oh, yeah. songs. Oh, yeah. And I barely even, like, people are like, dude, you haven't even heard nothing yet. You're not even out of the first fucking Berg of the place, not to mention Berg. Huh. Is that is that what they call <laughs> zones or, or Bergs? Also, Max is restricted to uh, facial reactions because he's still in timeout after his, uh, <laughs> after his mishap at the start of the show. Is that what they call <laughs> the areas in the game are Bergs? Is there, like, the undead No, I was, I was just naming it. Oh, you're using a fancy Myself. word. I'm proud of you, Zeke. I'm, way to go. I just, I just <laughs> so feel like every time word, I feel like be. every time I feel like every time anyone tells anyone else that you ain't seen nothing yet, if Bachman Turner Overdrive doesn't immediately begin playing, someone somewhere has fucked up. Nice. Like, it's just it's a given. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Max, you know no, what the funny thing is? Well, go, go ahead, Zeke. Uh, the, the funny thing about that that phrase is people like uh, attribute it to a lot of things, but it's it's actually from like that old 1920s movie, The Jazz Singer, right? And it's not mm. you ain't seen nothing yet. It's you ain't heard nothing. He's like, now, and you see him all in black and white. He's like, now, 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 hold on. You ain't heard nothing yet. Mm -hmm. Or a camera. Little tidbit, little trivia. There you go. You're welcome. There you go. I just had the Windows updates have changed. I just got a Windows update on the stream PC 
and it came up in like the little corner. It's like, Hey, we've got an update for you. Would you like to apply this now in 30 minutes or never? And I just clicked never. And then it, it went away. It's great. Yeah. It's fantastic. Went away until there's another, uh, until there's another update. And they'll be like, yeah, hey, I wonder how this is a new, this is a new different update that includes the other update you said. No it update. also didn't Would make like a noise and it wasn't in the center of the screen. So there's a high chance that the computer might just randomly reset sometime <laughs> today. So we'll just see how that goes, I guess. <laughs> Windows update. You never know when it's going to happen. Let's unmute Max and see what's going on. How you doing, Max? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Max, you, you may speak. I think you're muted on your end, actually. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, mm -mm. that's fine. Don't mute him. <sighs> mm -hmm. Five words. Well, yeah, five words. Sounds, sounds like sounds like first word. No, okay, that's. <laughs> See you later, buddy. See you later. Alas, I think he's rejoining the call. <laughs> that or he just hasn't blinked in a couple of seconds. <laughs> Max, that's are we good? Everybody. Okay. Yeah, hello. Oh, you're hey. back. Hi. Okay. <laughs> hello. I, hey, that face was Jesus Christ. I hope I'm not blasting that horrible noise into your ears. No, Hi. no, it's me. Hello. Hello. What'd you go and get for food? What are you eating uh, today? Starbucks. Typically the, the usual. Starbucks. Spicy chorizo sandwich from Starbucks because uh, it's quick. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a Wendy's nearby. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> Starbucks for when you don't have a Wendy's nearby. Well, I, I remembered I had to pick up my car because I had to like get the again. headlight replaced and tires sorted because it's like winter and, you know, the pressure and all that shit went down. And Plus, I needed them to look at anyways. So Starbucks is right there. And I didn't want to wait for... Um, Wendy's to do like an order because that would have taken forever. So, yeah, here I am well, that's with this good. exciting tale for that's you. It's the greatest of guys. tales. What else you been up to? I made a joke uh, when Zeke was talking about the, you know, oh, I got something going on at TwitchCon. I did, I'm like the restroom battle, and that would have been good timing for a laugh, but you fucking stifled me. <sighs> am I loud to you than normal? Because I oh, feel like I'm louder. I, than I immediately put you down to about 30% on my end. Yeah. So even for me, I sound louder. So I don't know what the hell changed. I don't know. Uh, whatever. Uh, what else? Windows, have I Windows doing? update. Probably. Windows update. Yeah. Probably Windows, Windows, probably update. Windows update. That's crazy. Actually. I didn't know that that was an option ever. Maybe they finally realize that everybody really, really hates being forced <laughs> to have an update. I don't know. Sometimes maybe. it breaks things. Yeah. I don't know. So. It's an odd thing. Um, it's an odd thing. What have you been I playing? Played, Anything uh, exciting? Anything hot and fresh? I played Black Ops. I played Black Ops Hungover with you. That was fun. Yeah, uh, you were really bit. out of it. I was. I was really out of it. It. It progressively got like worse. You know, it was one of those like hangovers where you're like, I think I'm good. I think I'm okay. You know, I'll be all right. I, got, I feel a little, little, you know, out of it and it's a bit, a bit of a headache. And then as I kept playing and staring at the, the screen with like the lights on me and stuff, I'm just like, this is not good. <laughs> I lasted like four and a half hours, so that was okay. Our first game, we got a win though, to our credit. So, True. yeah, you started and everything else and never won. Just, never yeah, won. Just went down after that. We didn't even have like we had games that were really close, but then it just didn't didn't happen. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, what else? I played some uh, GTRP. I've been trying to mess around with that. Is that still pretty active? That There's still a bunch of people. Yeah, it's that? active. It's not definitely not as like big as it was when it's like you know exploded and it's like heyday kind of thing. But it's still cool. I still like it. That's good. Kind of testing it out. It's not like one of those Isn't things it? I like you're going to rake it all the viewers or something. Max, <laughs> do, you know, do you know, Max, do you know what the is there going to be like a kind of equivalent for uh, Red Dead? Are we going to get like a Red Dead RP? Is that going to be? I hope so. Or? I think it's all dependent on Red Dead when and if I'm going to say when because it'd be stupid for them to not release it on PC and everybody would probably shit. Like, probably in like a year or two. Lose their mind. Yeah, like a year or so. Um, When and if they release that on PC and, you know, there is. The ability to have custom servers like they have um through five reborn with gta 5 then yes i would mm -hmm. say and that would be fucking dope yeah some western yeah. rp i'd be surprised I'm still salty if they, they never put Red Dead on PC. yeah i'd be surprised if they just didn't like somehow monetize it themselves like just have rp servers or something like that like they, they want to do that go for it yeah I mean, they put in a hundred hour work week, so they have to be working on some other stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. They gotta that's be kind of like the something. thing. That's the dilemma, right? Uh, that, that Red Dead keeps kind of stirring up is like we have these really grand, crazy ass games that come out that we love because they're amazing, right? Yeah. But 
underneath there's like a sweatshop of game developers that I are mean, just like, do- please, I haven't seen my family in months. And they're like, you <laughs> know, go you, back you to say, the state of coding. <laughs> you say the word del- you say the word dilemma, but dilemma means that there are two options. Mm. And really, I'm not. I don't. Yeah, I don't no, know that no. that's the case so no, much. No, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm saying like we want to play the game, but we feel bad about playing the game also because you know. Yes. And obviously, everybody that's that's a gamer on the internet pretty much is super fucking entitled. It's like, when's it coming out? You keep teasing this game. Fucking make it happen already. Like, you know, they don't think yeah. about, like, all the shit that goes into making that thing. That's so awesome. Right. Like, even just look at Here's, GTA Five. That, that game still hand, that still holds up as, like, really well detailed, looks great, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're still making a crazy. killing from it, too. Here's what people need, though. They need a dev friend. See, I have a friend named Rami, and he just makes me feel bad for developers nonstop with just this constant <laughs> dribble that just comes out of his mouth. Ah, oh, it's so difficult being a developer. <laughs> and then I'm just like, oh, yeah, I guess that is pretty tough. Anyways, they should really fucking fix this bug in this game. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, the funny yeah. thing is, is, that, is that people people notice this shit when it's applied to the things that they like, but like... There are many industries in which people are treated like garbage. Oh, yeah, Video games sure. is only one of them. Yeah, Let me introduce yeah. you to just about everything else you love. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, I mean, it's so, it's so, so much easier for people to just pull their fucking pillowcase over their head and just be like, I don't need to see it. I don't need to see it. I don't need to see it. Never mind. It's not happening. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's, it's tough. It's one of those things that it's like, we w- there's going to have to be a sacrifice made because the reason the games are the way they are, all the good shit and the bad shit is because of the way they're developed. And so it's like, yeah. Things got to change. Yeah. It's got to change. Yeah. And they probably won't. Yeah. It'll probably just. Yeah. <laughs> but they, or they will. You know, who knows? It'll lead to the, the video game, the developer rebellion of yeah. 2020. Oh, like yeah. That. I don't know. No, uh, we'll, Seems we'll like a good year for to happen. It's going to be nice, the developer nice. wars. They're just going <laughs> to. The, the dev wars. Yeah. yeah. Just send mean code yeah. back to one another. That's, that's what it's, that's all it's going to be. It's the dark times. It's dark. Times. You know what their chance going to be too? What's if that? it happens in 2020, what's that? They're going to be picketing outside. Mm-hmm. Be like, hindsight's 2020. Give us more fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's nice. That's good. I wonder how many times nice hindsight is 2020 will be used. I know in it's going to be all over it's in that like, year. Oh man, all the damn time. Like I've every five minutes, multiple times about about. It, you can go back. Some, if you look on my tweets, they're there. I just kind of oh, did like yeah. a Heil Hitler thing off camera there. Wait, what? Sorry about that. <laughs> the motion that I did. I saw. Yeah, he didn't uh, mean I mean, I, it's, 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 yeah, don't pay attention right? to it. Jeez. We, we live in a real PC culture, so you can't be too careful there, JP. Right? Jeez. <laughs> you can't be too careful about Heiling Hitler. Yeah, you got to be careful That's about Heiling Hitler. You gotta, <laughs> yeah. Any gesture that's similar, you got to be real careful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You no, I, I tweeted about that. A few Heil Hitlers. Yeah, Twitter, <laughs> Twitter's right? gonna be yeah. garbage when when that fucking ball drops and we're it's 2020. It's just gonna be nothing. Everybody's gonna think they're hilarious. You think 2020 is gonna be bad? Wait until 2069. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> nice. Every day, like, hey everybody, it's January 1st, 2069. Nice, 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 yep. nice, nice. Hey everybody, it's January <laughs> nice. 2nd, 2069. Get ready for 363 more days of this horse shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be That's good future. It's gonna be great, great and glorious future. That's also a good point too. Sorry about that uh, on YouTube. Sorry for not monetizing this. Now that I, <laughs> I said Heil <laughs> Hitler and it said PC culture. So oh, sorry yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah, good. You're, well, I don't. Do they even? Well, hmm. I'm curious to see if this does get. Uh, <laughs> you want me to say a couple other buzzwords? Because no. I I can do it. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm just curious to see if it actually does get uh, does get flagged. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, we should probably play some D&D and just get out of this conversation as fast as fucking possible. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely Dan a good he, idea. We just asked Dan what he was eating. Yeah. No, that's that's enough for Dan. We're good. <laughs> Are you good, Dan? Are you satisfied? <laughs> Are you quelched both uh, for hunger and information? I would love to cash in my time for more D&D. See? Dan, I knew it. Nice. I knew Dan would, would. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I would like to yield my time to D and D, please. Okay, all right. Yield the time oh, man. to D and D. Can we? Can we do that? Can we just make that a thing in like Congress? Like, well, uh, all right, everybody, uh, gentlemen, we got another forty-seven minutes here, but uh, you guys want to fight some goblins, or all right, let's do it. Here <laughs> yeah. we go. It's good. 
the paladin from Alabama is ready to take his initiative. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Oh my god, some fucking Senate D&D action with the same structure. Chair recognizes the rogue from Hawaii. Uh, uh, go ahead there, Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would like to... Cunning action, thank you. <laughs> All D&D should yeah. be played Eric that way. from the Show Me State wants to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, D&D uh, &D and C-SPAN. It's perfect. You have a couple Love of the it. senders that actually play D&D &D and they do their voices and everyone else is just a typical like... <laughs> It'll be good. We should work on it. We should pitch it to so the Senate good. and see how it goes. <laughs> Why don't we do a one shot? The Senate plays D and D. Right. Let's get <laughs> some get senators to pick our together. own senators and just like role play as them playing D and D. Yep. Is that okay? Yep. All right, everybody. There's is. the new. There's the new. There's the new forum thread. Who Who would be your top pick senators to play Dungeons and Dragons on role play? Go ahead and just community.itmejp.com. Start that thread up. Let's get going. <laughs> Start it up. Let's Let's get a move on. Let's get a move. Just on. tag JP on Twitter. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Use yeah. the hashtag and, and this and no. the senator in question. Yeah, and the senator, and then use the hashtag Mega Man Me. All right, we still got to get that trending. It's still gonna happen. It'll just be for a different purpose. So hashtag Mega Man Me, the senator, me, and then what they'll they'll play. It's like him trying to make fetch happen. It's just not gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Twenty eighteen, the year from hashtag Mega Man Me. <laughs> Watch they they make a game called Mega Man. <laughs> so like, yeah, use that whole yeah. thing. That'd be great. Be great. Yeah. Be great. That would be. I would. I, you can make you your own Mega Man me. levels. That's the name of the game. Mega Man Me. Just make your own levels and your own bosses. I'm still thinking about how I'm still thinking about how boring it would be to watch Congress play D and D. Like it's the opposite of getting it's the opposite of getting every like creative cool celebrity you can think of. Right? You know, we got like like cool. Here's a game. It's got Vin Diesel. And and a bunch of other famous shitty people in it, and cool. But we're gonna take the exact opposite approach, and we're gonna find the boringest people we can find in the U.S. Senate, and we're gonna make them play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I don't understand what's a cleric. Uh, what is this word? I don't. Which god Senator does this Valentine cleric anyway. serve? The one true god. <laughs> the only adventuring party I want to belong to is the Republican Party. <laughs> Jesus. Senator right. from Alabama, uh, what, what do you want to do your time now? Oh, what, what does a disengage mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, move, I move we disengage. Uh, second. <laughs> the gentleman from Iowa is taking an attack of opportunity on his time right now. <laughs> <laughs> the other right, senators you you, going in my you, time. I wish to yield. If you think back you're gonna lose the, the, you think you're gonna lose the fight. You just filibuster your turn. Yeah. <laughs> so you're like, you know, I don't know what to do. Uh, so well, I think if we look at my options, I've got several options for my main action. And if I choose from my main action, one of these several options. Oh my god, I'm into it. Let's do it. We should do Let's it. Do it. No, it's a it's a funny too. idea that make a great thirty second skit, and then yeah, that'd be it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that old people, some old people sounded like that. I always thought that was like, you know, like cartoon thing. There are some old ass dudes that have that like, oh, what do you want? Son? Like got that like crazy waver in their voice. Well, I'm like, holy shit, what happened? <laughs> the they got the old. Jimmy that's what happened, man. Really I know what yeah, I'm saying. Like, what say mechanically dude. happens to your vocal cords, to, to everything? I know your vocal cords change and stuff, but what makes it where you go, oh, gravity <laughs> starts taking effect on your entire body is what happens probably. Well, well, Senator, you don't want to attack me. You want to attack the goblins. They're <laughs> over there. Yeah, mm. it's a voice that people have when they get old. Mm -hmm. there you go. Mm -hmm. mm. Good stuff. Can we do goals? <laughs> Can we just, can we just yeah, move let's on? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Listen, yeah, we're three minutes it. under time, all right? We still... I, yeah, Dan yielded his time to D&D. &D, just, just kept doing it. Yeah. And all I, right. My improv friends. just kicked in, and I just had to go with it. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. I get it. I understand. I was yes-anding him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just yes-and yourself right into the end of the show. Yep. So, all right. Everybody has a shared goal, which is to uh, kill... <clears throat> Everyone in the caravan, except uh, the young the young woman in question. That is the cult's goal that it has given you. Um, Halimat, what would you like your mm -hmm. goals to be? Always start with me, just like JP. Would you Would you like me to start somewhere else? You're no, just at the top I mean, of my I'm list on the sheet. Never start with me. No, just, I have my. Also, I'm yes, good. I Max Max is last by design. Yeah, and you're first by design because you usually have an idea what you want. Uh -huh. I do. My goals are going to be basically the same. Actually, basically, they're going to be exactly the same as last time. Okay. 
uh, complete the goal set out by the page, the secret goal that's against the queen's wishes to kill the woman. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, get what I promised. Excuse me. Get what I was promised from the page by yes. hook or by fucking crook. Yeah, for real. Um, which is if you if you case you didn't, uh, weren't here or whatever, the page is like the archive, like has the knowledge. Like that's the yes. like the person who I who will be my best chance to lead me on to dragon glory um, and meeting the dragon and stuff. And that's my like long term goal down the line is to meet, speak, and maybe become an ancient dragon. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. not too lofty. And then my third goal, secret. Ooh, secret. Mm -hmm. Still secret. All right. Working towards it. Secret. Mm -hmm. You're working on it. Okay, great. Um, Yoji, what would you like your goal? <clears throat> uh, we still have the two from last time. Prepare an ambush for the caravan and learn mm -hmm. more about Ikatsu. And the third yeah. one will be... So, something pertaining to Shadrick, because someone's gonna have to go like loop him back in or bring him back in. So I, I guess Max, you can help decide on this in terms of what would be a challenge and what's just gonna like happen. I don't. I oh, don't challenge to kind of like what rain in Shadrick sort of deal. Yeah, yeah. Basically, I I'm probably gonna be the one that comes after you in the next, probably in the at the very beginning. So <laughs> I mean, imagine it'll be like the first scene. Yeah. Yeah, because he's gonna yeah mm -hmm. he's gonna go run off into the woods and maybe blow the mission. So. Yeah, so is it to uh, get Shadrick to cooperate uh, not only with the group but also Kalimot and like capturing this prisoner? And I would back say to Colt, successfully or? get successfully give Shadrick, however you want to phrase this, successfully give Shadrick a reason to cooperate or convince Shadrick that you're not doing evil or something something like that you can interpret it that way but that would be the the, the hump that you're gonna have to okay shadrick's fucking pissed the fuck off right right <laughs> right okay then then i think it's uh bring bring shadrick back into kind of the the party fold as it will and and back on okay. like task <clears throat> all right um max if you had to assign a difficulty between i don't know one and five how difficult would you say that <laughs> task is? Uh, I would say... Give me a moment here. Uh, definitely not rolling 1d5. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to hold you to it. Like, if you if you tell me one, and then you, may, you, you, you bust Yoji's nuts about it the whole episode, then, you know, I'm going to... I'm gonna be disappointed in you. You know what? Obviously, is. five being the most difficult, right? No, five being the be. five is five is like he would have to beg, bribe, or otherwise coerce you, like yeah. in a significant way. Uh, one being an apology would suffice. <laughs> I would say, like, hey, I'm sorry that we yelled at each other. Let's hug it out, little man. Come on, we got some people. I would say a three. He's upset, but he's not like completely unreasonable where, you know, you have to fucking grovel. You know, you really have to. I yeah, think that's sure. a solid number assigned to it. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Um, Jadara. Uh, like I'll keep to? all of mine from last time. I'm still working on them. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'm adjusting anyone who had uh, prepare an ambush for the caravan. Uh, it has just become more difficult than it was before. So if you were able to successfully do it, You'll get more experience. It was easier before you made it more difficult. Right. Okay. Uh, and then Sh Shadrick, your uh, your goals. Did we do experience from from the last episode. I can't remember. We did, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So last one I had was connect with Anjali. That happened, and then leave the confines. Right now, right now, I have make sure the bell doesn't get misused. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> um, shit. It's hard because he's like, right now he's just storming the fuck off. Yeah, like what? What's your what's your intent? Like, why did you storm off? Do you, do you secretly listen? I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play counselor here. But Shadrick, when you stormed mm -hmm. off into the yes. woods, did you really want Yoji to chase after you? Well, it's complicated. You see, <laughs> yes, feelings are often I'm complicated. Home, but yeah. If we can use "I want" phrasing, mm -hmm. yeah, I feel. Yoji, when you yell at me about evil stuff, I feel belittled. It makes so, me what do you? Bad. Yeah, like why? <laughs> you storm, you stormed off. But what was what was Shadrick's like 
reasoning for that? Was that just like anger? Like I need to commune with nature to clear my head? Or is it like I need to leave these fools behind? Or is it uh, I, think, I stormed off I think, so that they would come out alone and I could ambush them in the woods and eat their flesh? Like what? No, I think it was he stormed off just, you know, emotions get the better of you and you just need to remove yourself from the scenario to decompress for a second. He doesn't mm-hmm. know. He didn't know whether or not, you know, he's leaving, leaving or what. He was kind of making that up as he goes. Um, okay. So I would say he's currently just in the woods, not too far off ish. Right. Right. And so your, your idea. What does that mean? Goal wise, is... Adam, I hear you. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, decide whether to join the group again, continue to join the group. That's kind of an open end. <laughs> this yeah, sucks. Like, I make hate, up my mind. Literally goals. choose I just anything. Play the game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you don't want any experience, that's fine. You could it's just true. not have any goals. You could just be an aimless wanderer that no, desires no, nothing it's, from their it's life. The part, and just no, does whatever's it, in front of you, day in and day out. Not ever thinking. The part, What's the point of all of it? And then you die, and you're like, "Why didn't I gain any XP? I'm still level one." It's the part that that most people like really are excited about, and I like leveling up too. But like, I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> like, I, I, if I could just get experience for doing shit in the thing, I mean, and it makes sense mechanically the way we switch to it, you know, because it gives us actual, yeah. you know, purpose. Well, then write them, write them as a write them as a player. Like, what kind of stuff do you want to do? What kind of stuff would be fun for you? Don't think about what Shattered. Because if you write yeah, them for yeah, you, yeah. then Absolutely. Shattered will just do whatever you want. Mm. Um. Like, do you want to prevent, create? Prevent, do you want to create prevent. further, create further party tension, and like, like convince Yoji that murdering people is a bad idea? Uh, in which case, there'll be scenes where you're trying to pull them back from the brink of doing this thing. Uh, or are you looking to like get reinvolved? In which case, just make a goal about like, so make them respect. Going to be prevent further unnecessary bloodshed. Um, oh, if you can what prevent. do you consider? What, what do you consider unnecessary bloodshed? Yeah, what is unnecessary? If somebody doesn't need to die for the mission, then, like, if somebody's innocent, that doesn't affect the mission. They don't need to die. The Listen, mission is literally killing. Ask me for goals. All right. The mission. <laughs> that's cool. It's cool. The mission is the mission is just literally killing everyone except one person. Oh my god! So that's preventing that. unnecessary bloodshed will be. It's like a five plus uh, plus. I mean, like, easy, because all, it's all necessary, really. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you could also write a goal based on, like, the things that happened in the last session, right? Like, find out the truth about the Mara that appeared. Right? Like, maybe there's some some interest there. Um, animate all of the goats into some kind of horrific goat column. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what Shatter wants. What do you want out of your life, Shatter? Uh, I, I, I'm just like the roadblock right now that stops us from prevent from going into the show further. No, um, it's it's cool though because it's important to know what your character wants because that's what creates the like the good shit when we play. So, yeah, I mean you're you're in the situation right now where you want to stay close. To the, you have attention. You want to stay close to the party to make sure that the bell doesn't turn into some kind of horrific undead super weapon that do, does more damage than it already has. So you got that kind of covered. So you can't go. You can't leave. But you might have allies, right? Yoji might be, you might be able to reason, like, reason with Yoji. So maybe there's a goal about, like, level with Yoji and, like, talk to him about, convince him of the danger of this, this bell, right? Like, yeah. in, in, uh, incept into Yoji the idea that, like, this might not be a good thing to do. Um, yeah, that's a good goal. You know, I'll take that, yeah. Um, okay. So how do you want to, how do you want to phrase it? Um... Convince Yoji the bell is more dangerous than he realizes. Okay, and how will you know that he's realized that? That he's like come to that conclusion? I guess you can loop that in with the with the cult the bell slash the cult. Like the cult's intentions are more okay, yeah. more dangerous than he realizes. Okay, sure. Okay. Um, and then and your, your third I think, goal. I think third goal is to speak with Anjali again. Okay. Do you have a, do you have a particular goal for that conversation? Cause just talking to her is easy. You could just be like, right. Exactly. Yo. 
Anjali! <laughs> yeah, she just pop out of a tree and be like, what up, dog? Um, so if you talk to her again, what, what would it, what would you want to get out of that, that conversation? Do you want her to do something for you or uh, help you in some way? Like she's got, she might have some secrets, like how to get the bell out of Kalimat or tell you more about it yeah. or cause she was just like, it's dangerous. I gotta yeah. go. Help. Yeah. Speak to Anjali. Learn more about removing the bell from Anjali. Okay. Removing the bell from, from Kalimat. Yeah. Uh, okay, ask Anjali about. As the bell's stuck with Kal Al Kalimat and intertwined with him, that's going to be completely. It's going to make it real hard to get rid of it. Yeah. And it's going to be stuck. He's going to be. The bell and he will be stuck in the cult. Removing mm -hmm. the bell mm -hmm. will be able to separate it then further from the cult. That sounds like a good plan. Like, okay. Yep. <clears throat> We're square then. So. We'll we'll start we'll start right where we left off, uh, with with maybe with Shadrick, uh, out out in the out in the woods, old Shadrick out in the woods. So Shadrick, you you how far away have you have you gone? Like you can't see the if you turn, you can't see the um the little like huts anywhere. You can't see the farm. You just want to like be surrounded by trees. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And say, Yoji, would you have would you have run off after Shadrick right away, or do you give him a bit to like? I give him calm a bit. down. Yeah, I'm giving him a bit. Okay, all right, Shadrick. So you are we 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 come upon Shadrick in the woods, uh, still maybe fuming. I don't know. What's your what's your emotional state when we see you? Um, I'd say that he's cooled down a bit more. He's more just contemplating, you know. So he's just sitting there, still visibly like agitated and in thought mm -hmm. yeah so are you like pacing mm -hmm. around or have you stopped and... yeah i think it's i think it's actually it's he's agitated but it's like he's trying to find guidance and and i guess even just calm from from the trees that are around in the forest that are around him so he's like pacing with his staff like going back and forth looking at one like hmm. listening to one you know listening to like a tree and then moving to another Okay. Um, is Shadrick, does Shadrick have a hard time calming down after he gets like angry or, or are you able um, to kind of like, no, he usually it's, it, this one's different. Yeah. I'm thinking about that whole family just getting slaughtered by their, their father. And then of course the whole Mara thing, like really fucked with him. He's seen fucked up shit, but it's like in his mind that was completely preventable and he okay. feels like he, he let that family down by letting it happen because he back in the back of his mind he knew that it was probably going to happen so that's why it's bothering him so much yeah 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 okay so we we see you kind of like looking concerned and like pacing around trying to trying to like calm down um and yeah you realize i guess then that you're like you're alone and the people that you uh you know that you're they were making you so crazy aren't, aren't anywhere to be seen uh what do you do You asking me? Or are you asking? Uh, Yoji? Yeah, yeah. You're the only one. You're the only one around. Um. How far? How far after is, is this from the storm off? Or is that up to me? It's up to you. Yeah, you're like as far away as you need to be. You know when you're like getting really pissed about something and you like you storm out, and then there's a moment at which you're like, <sighs> fuck, and you like calm down. Enough. You might still be angry, but you calm down enough that you're not like storming anymore. The storm is over, and you're you're still percolating on it. But like maybe you sit down on a rock, or like you're just you're done. The the energy that that has uh, pushed you away from uh, these people has uh, has has run out, uh, and you yeah you find yourself just kind of like somewhere out in the woods. I mean you're not obviously not lost. I think uh, Chadrick's doing the thing that he's like I was speaking of kind of communing with the trees and stuff to, to do that kind of ping to see if he can get a breed on how on how close this, this other group is. If he can. Um, yeah, I mean, you can make a nature check to see if there are any signs of, like, travel or, or anything around or, like, a survival check if you're looking for, like, tracks. If you have a spell, mm -hmm. um, you could you could cast that if there's a spell that will let you, like, sense through the, through the foliage. Um, but... Uh, yeah, for now, um, 
yeah, that, that would yeah, be your option. Yeah, I guess the thing I can do. <laughs> I mean, that's, what magic, that's, what magic, that's what magic is for right like you you definitely yeah. have access to to some stuff like that but i don't yeah i just don't have any like, of that like, commune like commune with nature Maybe, yeah, yeah so for right now for right now that that whole situation is really more about you and like kind of relaxing and trying to like get your get your head straight and i i think that yeah you 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 feel the initial kind of rush of anger and, and frustration uh, kind of fade. Um, and instead of the, the sounds of, uh, of the, the demons grinding broken glass voice and the sounds of battle, there's just the kind of the wind gently rustling the trees overhead and the sound of maybe like a, a creek somewhere. You can't see somewhere out of sight. Um, some birds chirping in the in the trees and there's like yeah you can like you can take a breath like relax um and i need you to make a perception check okay okay um you hear something uh it is like, off to the east from where you are uh like some rustling in the in the underbrush i think that like snaps him out of like his kind of concentration and just trying to level level himself out yeah hello the Eddie? noise the noise I'm quiets there. yeah it seems like in response the noise like quiet and it's like just silence as if you've like startled it or Just goes quiet. back to trying to concentrate again. Okay. The typical thing that happens in movies. <laughs> it's like, yeah. well, I guess that was nothing for now. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, you hear more, like, like a grunting sound, and uh, more like rustling in the in the bushes. He gets up and he's like, "Hello." Walks over to like uh -huh. where the. Yeah, where the you rustling's walk coming the, from. Towards the sound. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So you start walking towards the sound a little ways. And uh you see uh in the you see a, a bunch of bushes, <laughs> a bunch of low bushes like like rustle slightly. Uh and you hear some some like grunting from from in the bushes. Does it sound like grunting then? I mean obviously I would know if it was an animal like a boar or something like that. Is it like Agitated, make nature, angry. Make make a make a nature check. Or actually, make an animal handling check to try to figure out like. Mm, uh -huh. Exact same roll I rolled before. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, it what sounds it? yeah. It the, the part of it yeah part of the sound sounds like like the snuffling of like a, a large boar. Um, it sounds like it's looking for something. Um, but also it's like weirdly like polysyllabic. You hear like other sounds. You, you swear you hear like like a kind of whispering noise under its grunting. Um, something about that that sound ain't right. So you're saying I've established that? Like, can I see this thing, or are you just saying I'm still hearing it? No, no, it's it's hidden in it's hidden in like a there's like a a hedge, big hedge, kind of like off to the mm -hmm. east of you. Can I? recognize anything with that should it make another roll like you can make an investigation or... yeah you make an investigation, investigation check if you want yeah yeah see if i've heard that kind of Ooh, hoo -hoo. Ooh, these rolls okay. today too bad yeah. they're um, just kind of bullshit <laughs> so far so uh yeah you you look and the the thing in question uh you see it it pushes through the the hedge and it it's sort of snuffling forward it's the the same vague size or the same vague shape as a as a boar covered in in brown sort of bristling uh, fur um and uh it it looks up at you like it tilts its snout up it's these big like white tusks and parts of its flesh open uh first where eyes should be but one is a human mouth and one is an eye and then elsewhere strange mouths there's like a beak sticking off one side of it uh and it, it like lifts itself up and uh like bubbles popping a um a sort of like rash of eyes open along one shoulder uh and it, it spots you and lets out a sound somewhere between 
uh, the the squeal of a, a forest boar and several human voices crying out in frustration uh, all at once. Uh, and then it lowers its head to charge at you. So if you could just roll initiative real quick, that would fantastic. be fantastic. Cool. This is <laughs> that'd be really. Yeah, I am so really cool. Listen, for me. learn. Never throw a tem temper tantrum back to the woods by yourself. Adam's gonna sick a mara on you. <clears throat> cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the same. Um, great. That's a great roll. Uh, all right. I got a 13 uh, for this rift swine. Um, okay. I need to roll to see if it has any mutations. Give me one second. Uh, it does. It does indeed. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's see. 36. Uh, ooh, it has two mutations. Ooh. Fantastic. That is Four fantastic. All right. Uh, good. Good stuff. Fantastic. All right. So the thing, uh, yeah, the thing opens its mouth and, uh, and bellows and uh, greenish black spittle like, pours out of its mouth, drips onto the ground, and where it touches the leaves, the leaves hiss and wither. Uh, and then the thing lowers its head and charges in your direction. <laughs> um, so it's got a movement speed of 40. Thankfully, you are outside. It's full. Uh, it can't. Oh, no, look, it can. Uh, it's going to go around this tree. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. So it charges It charges towards you and rushes. Yeah, rushes forward. This is a vague approximation of its horrendous form. Uh, right. And uh, it, uh, it, makes, it makes an attack with its tusks. So oh, it yeah, we saw this earlier, didn't we? Yeah, it lunges out with its, uh, with its tusks. And uh, misses on the first tusk attack. So you like throw yourself aside. Its tusks dig into the ground, throwing uh, mulch every place. Uh, it makes a second uh, tusk attack. This one hitting, dealing you 15 slashing and six acid damage. Ooh. So the swine, this thing, this, this horrific abomination, like barrels towards you, grunting and lunges at you. You throw yourself off to one side. It swings its head back, slashes across your armor, uh, and its spittle like flecks all over the front of you. And like there's a hissing as the, the leather like boils and peels. Uh, it is your turn, Shadrick. What would you like to do? Fifteen, six poison or whatever. Six acid. acid it's acid, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, just looking at my spells and such. Um, I haven't turned into beast shape or wild shape at all. What is the limit on that? It says starting at second level, you can assume an action um, action to magic magically assume the shape of a beast that you have seen before. So yeah. would that also include the Mara beast that we saw earlier, or is that just no? It's gonna be a, it's going? beast. It's beast with a capital B. So like uh, animal uh, beast, right? Here, I have a yeah, pretty good use that, that, that I can see that scavenger that I was as well. Uh, let me see if that thing was a scavenger. I can't uh, tell. Like, is before we were using polymorph for that? Yes. So no. I, uh, I think it's. I think it's too. I think it's too high. Yeah. I think it's, too, like, I think it's too high in in CR. It seems like what's wild the, shape. What's the what's the what's the maximum? Well, you didn't build. You're not built for wild shape. Wild shape is like a yeah. specific. There's a way to make it better, but let me um let me see what your max is. I think, uh, yeah, your beast shape is like max CR one. So like a giant <clears throat> eagle, you can turn it up and try to fly away. Mm -hmm. That's actually not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. But it would get an attack of opportunity, I would imagine. Obviously, yeah. If you if you try to do that, you could instead like disengage and try to run with your little gnome legs instead. <laughs> <laughs> there's a tree there's a tree right there <laughs> yeah i mean if he can't walk up the thing yeah that might be good again this is what he looks like so yeah I'll let you make your decision pretty hard there. too Fuck. what's my athletic acrobatics I have really shit athletics, though, if that's what you're going to make me roll, because it's like a negative two. It would be athletics for climbing, yeah. Uh, athletics, the, the DC to climb, like, a tree would be, like, DC 10, and you just move, you'd move half your movement rate as you climb. Mm. 
Um, I'm gonna shoot a tidal wave at him. Try to push him back. Yeah. And that would do failed save, forty-eight bludgeoning damage, and is knocked prone. Yeah, we'll see that. Okay. So you're gonna cast uh cast tidal wave? Is that what it's called? What's this book mm -hmm. called? Yeah, there it is. Tidal wave. Tidal. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Where did you, uh, under water? Oh, you just put it in chat. Fantastic. Thanks, dude. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right. So it, uh, is 30 feet long, 10 feet wide and up to 10 feet tall. And you want to do it like, like that. Yeah. Just like blast that motherfucker back from me. Yeah. And it comes crashing down and blast them. Okay. All right. Uh, cool. So let's uh, let's see. What's your uh, what's your saving throw uh, on that? It's a deck save with a DC of what? This is a good question. <laughs> It'll just be in your spell. It'll be in your spell on your spell sheet. Uh, it's eight plus oh, yeah. his proficiency plus his wisdom. Bear in mind, most of these spells I haven't actually cast properly before. That's cool. Um, yeah, your spell, your spell DC is uh, sixteen. Ten? No, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at. Uh, on your on your character sheet, when you go to the spells, it's the thing in the top middle in that gray area. Oh, says, sixteen. Yeah, sixteen spell save DC. I thought it was actually like okay. a thing tied to the specific spell. That's why. I would, sorry. Yeah. No. Uh, all right. So deck save DC. No. Okay. All right, so he fails, so he's going to take the damage. Uh, so go ahead and roll 48 damage. Okay. What kind of damage is it? Bludgeoning? Okay. Okay, it's 15, and he gets knocked, uh, knocked prone. All right. So you uh, you you conjure up this this wall this sudden wall does it like fall out of the sky does it burst up out of the earth like a geyser? Um, no. With with Shadrix, it's like it's it's like he's creating. You just see like water, like like first shimmering, and then that shimmering becomes thicker and it becomes water. It happens very fast, but that's what that's mm. like the progression of it. And this thick water then it starts starts to expand and then just like forward like that. It creates like a wave okay. that doesn't have an actual wave behind it. It's just kind of there. Sounds good. All right. So it it tumbles over, squealing and howling, gurgling this water washing into its mouth and mouths and eyes. And it yeah, it falls over and now it's all like soaked and like waving its little gross limbs. Um, what are you gonna do now? You still have your move and your bonus action. Okay. Does it still get I'm assuming it, it still gets an attack of opportunity for it? It would get an attack of opportunity, like but but uh, it's prone, so it'd be a disadvantage. Yeah, so I think I'm going to risk it and move um, the direction, whatever direction the other party was at. Uh, you came from the uh, from the south, so they're, they're this way. Right. So my maximum movement would just be 25, right? Because I'm not double moving. Then. That's right, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so you start to move in. Yes, it gets his attack of opportunity with disadvantage. Uh, it gets a 12, which narrowly misses you. Uh, its <clears> flesh <throat> splits open on its side, and a wet, kind of hairless tentacle lashes out, kind of like a rat's tail, lashes out at you, and you manage to jump out of the way, and it, it like snags at your cloak, but you, you pull <laughs> it away from it. And there's this wet, kind of newly birthed tentacle, like flailing, and then it flops into the ground and starts pushing the thing back up. Yeah. Um, Okay, so uh, on its turn, uh, it uses half its movement to stand. It's going to be fast uh, as fuck, it isn't gets, it? It gets another 20 feet, uh, which oh, cool. gets it to there. Just short. Is there any way we hear this or not? Yeah, we uh, time to get over there. <clears throat> it's pretty far, pretty far away. Okay. Hey, okay. Why is he up on top of me? 20 feet? Because he made another, he took another move action, and now he's, now he's done. Uh, he, he didn't have enough to move and attack. Oh, he's so, just uh, yeah, he, he ro rolled right over. Here pushed himself up with these this new tentacle and then <clears throat> grunted and, and ran towards you with the intention to, to attack. But yeah, slower, uh, certainly. Uh, it yeah. is your turn, Shadrick. Um, let me see what we got here. 
Mm-hmm. Looking at my spells real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We did Moonbeam before. Does that take effect right away, or is it just like we? I think before it was just like it's at the, the end of the, of the turn, turn, right? Moonbeam. Uh, the Moonbeam spell. Uh, let's see here. Uh, creates a five foot radius, 10, 40 foot high cylinder centered on a point in range. Uh, when it enters the sail- spells area for the first time or starts its turn there, it is engulfed in ghostly flames that cause searing pain. Um, and then a shape changer. If it's a shape changer, it changes back. And on each of your turns, you can use a full action to move the beam. So this is the like Protoss laser from heaven as you run away and it just like, zaps them. Yeah. So it's at the start of the next turn. Um, it would be, yeah, when it starts its turn, it would start in the thing, and then you would, you could use your action to keep moving it, to hit it, and I could, at the start of its turn. I could move the beam while running away? Yeah, you could move once and run, but you couldn't run twice, is the thing. You're always yeah. going to be 25 for a full move, where got, he's got 40, he's a lot faster than you. Yeah. <sighs> or I could turn into something and fly away, just risk that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, running. You're realizing now as you run, pumping your little gnome legs. You're like, no. I need another way to get out of here that is not using these little legs that the gnome gods gave me. I need to turn it. You can turn into something else, or. But yeah, for right now, this is just going to be a a bad game of getting stabbed in the back by tusks. Is everything that I turn into a provoke a, an attack of opportunity? If you don't take the dis, uh, the disengage action, yes, any movement away from oh. it will be. Well, I could disengage and then turn into something. You would have to disengage, and then on your next turn, like because you can't, you disengage as an action. Yeah. So okay, whatever. You can turn. Uh, if you take a hit wow. as a, if you take, if you take a hit as a shape shifted thing, uh, at at least you don't get your um, uh, your yeah your hit. But there might be creatures that are better at running away, etc. What were we gonna say, Dan? I was saying you can turn into an owl, which when it flies away doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. Why doesn't that happen for an owl? They have a special ability called flyby, where if they if they are flying, they don't they don't provoke attacks of opportunity. Well, because... then fuck it, I'll turn into an owl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, that sounds good. Uh, all right, so you're gonna turn into a, a owl. All yeah, it's right. becoming apparent to Shadrick, like mm, maybe I don't want to fight this on my own. Woo, woo, fuck you. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so you're going to turn into an owl. Uh, That's good to know. Just, just don't try to do anything important for the party as an owl or you'll fail horribly every time. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Especially, especially right. around you. <laughs> so you're going to use your action to become an owl. Boulder. Um, and then you can fly 60 feet. So you want to you fly away? Yeah, fly away 60 feet. You begin to fly away. All right. So you fly off, and uh, the thing chases you a, a little ways, um, but obviously it can't, can't get at you. It doesn't seem capable of springing uh, wings from its shoulders or anything. And Too so fast, as, you, boy. as you arc up, yeah, as you arc <laughs> up away from it, uh, yeah, you're, you're, able to, you're able to escape. Um, so, yeah, do you, where do you go as an owl? You've turned into an owl. You've, you've spotted this strange swine creature in the woods um yeah where do you go what do you do uh probably fly away a distance until the thing you know stops giving chase and then fly up into one of the trees and just kind of chill there for a second till you know it, it, it leaves okay. yeah so i think this is a good thing so you you, you fly up into the yeah you fly up into the trees you've you've given it a, a good a good run and it, it turns around and like goes back into the uh goes back into the woods um, and you're sitting on a branch, like catching your catching your uh, your breath, your lolly breath, and your head. You turn your head around, and you see. Uh, I think at this point you see Yoji, because Yoji, you've gone after uh, you've gone after Sh- Shadrick, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. Cool. So uh, yeah, you see Yoji, and so what does what does Shadrick see? Are you are you stalking through the woods? Should we actually should we make a stealth check to see if he sees you? Are you moving like sneakily? I would say, yeah, because I don't know what else is here in this general area. Not that I'm trying to hide from Shadrick, but just from everything else. You might have even okay. heard some of the, the noises, too. Oh, make a stealth roll, um, right? Yeah, go ahead. 24. Okay. Uh, let me 
me see if I can assign this owl to the hat. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, but that's funny, Dan still has an owl from way back when. Uh, Shadrick. <laughs> May he okay. rest in peace. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Shadrick, you have access to the little owl character sheet there. You want to make a uh, perception check as the owl. Um, it's it's on your if you look down in the the journal, you should have another like essentially another character called Owl. Okay. You see him? You, yep, I do. Yeah. So under skills, I know that's a different kind of character sheet. It's a monster sheet. Just click perception so under, under skills. Yeah, per perception and stealth. So just click where it says perception plus three. Boop. Okay. All right. Uh, no. That is a very poor yep. role, little owl. Uh, okay, so Yoji, Yoji yep. then, I think you're the one that spots this this owl in the middle of the day, sitting up on a branch as you, like, sneak through the through the woods. Does it look anything uh, like the other bird that I killed in the forest the day prior, or the night prior? However long ago that was. I think it was, you described it as kind of... Ah, uh, yeah, center. yeah, yeah. No, no, Shadow, this just looks like a regular ass owl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, without an intelligence check, would I be able to assume that it's odd to see an owl out in the middle of the day? Make a nature check at like DC f like five. <laughs> <laughs> Double five. So maybe, maybe, maybe the first, maybe the first time you're like, hey, an owl. And then you're like, wait a second. <laughs> an owl. <laughs> yeah and then you're like wait that's weird okay. a weird bird uh do i notice anything else weird in the forest is that the only thing i'm noticing no nah, this is a regular owl it's only like a little weird like the owl might just be like acting funny okay um i mean i don't think he's I don't think Yoji would be like, well, that's really weird. I should shoot the mm -hmm. owl or that's really weird. I should try to talk to it. It's just yeah. an odd thing okay. to see an owl. I just saw an entire right. family murdered by their dad and <laughs> the Mara show up. So right. it's kind of like, eh. yeah, totally. Like as far as your, <laughs> as far as your day goes, it's been like up here and now it's down here. An owl is not, it's not that considerable. So you're just like, huh? And yeah. then carry on. Yeah. I, I just okay. moved past. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so I think we stick with the, uh, I think we stick with the, the owl then as, as Yoji walks directly towards where the boar and Shadrick had this encounter. I just, um, yeah, and you don't a notice dumbass him. Fucking like, owl who didn't see him at all. It's like, he's to be fair, oh. he's incredibly stealthy. Right. Uh, so yeah, so you just, you're just hanging out as an owl. Uh, you have, you've given, you've, you've, yeah, you've given, uh, you've given this thing Mary Chase and now you, you feel like you're safe. Um, you just hang out in the tree for a while or <laughs> just for a little bit, a little bit longer. Okay. I mean, sure. I was, I was banking on seeing okay. Yoji, but yeah. apparently Yoji, can you, Yoji, owl, can you make a, most um, observant <laughs> animals? Yo Yoji, make a, uh, make a, uh, survival check for me. Cause you're, you're tracking, you're trying to track Shadrick. Yeah. 13. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, he wasn't making any effort to, you, you find some tracks. So you find uh, footprints and then over top of them, a strange set of like f some f like five hoof prints that look like pig pigs hooves. Um, so you see hoof prints overlaying these like smaller like child or maybe gnome shaped footprints. And then the gnome footprints stop. Yeah. And the pig footprints continue a little ways and then turn around and there's a tree nearby that's got a big gouge out of it. Uh, its bark is all peeled back, and there's, like, sap dripping from it. Yeah, I, I advance towards the tree. Okay, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll make a nature check, although I'm kind of assuming that potentially well, there's this... more. There's more, there's more detail to be gleaned. Yeah, okay. So good. go ahead and, yeah, make that, make that check. 21. I think, in this case, make, make an investigation check, too. I'll keep that nature check in mind. 22. <laughs> nice. Yeah. You want to make any more checks? Give me, give me a 23. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Um, okay. All right. So here you go. Uh, the investigation check turns up that, yeah, the, the bark uh, was gouged deeply by like a tusk. There's like a, a jab wound and then a tear. And then um, the wood is melted 
And what you took to be sap at first glance, you, know, you realize it's some kind of like viscous acid because it's burned away the the edges of the bark. And then there's like drool marks on the ground where the vegetation has died uh, and the earth has been scorched. Um, and there's this like acrid stink in the air uh, that definitely uh, doesn't match like the the scene, any normal uh, normal animal that you, you can think of. Um, casting a glance around, you see maybe... 100 feet away, there is an area where all of the grass and the bushes have been knocked flat. It's about a 30 foot wide area where the bushes have all been knocked flat and the rocks and the earth have been disturbed. And it's all like soaked. It's like, like it's been rained on. Um, yeah. Something weird happened here. Okay. Um, being that I just saw Mara. I'm a little bit worried that something uh, like that this, maybe I'm thinking this area is prone to Mara just popping up or something. Uh, and I have mm. no other way to like mm -hmm. sense what's around me. So I'm going to cast primeval awareness. Oh, nice. Okay. And just see what the fuck I see with this. Right. Uh, okay. Um, so in a sense where the following types of creatures are present within a mile, uh, there is definitely three, there are three aberrations like very nearby, like 300 feet maybe to the northeast of you. Uh, there are three of those. Um, and I don't think that you detect anything else uh, on that list. Okay. Um, what are your, what are your, um, your, uh, what's your, oh, you're not in your favorite terrain. Yeah. You're not, it's not forest. Uh, yeah, I don't know what, what my favorite, I'll, I'll look in a second. Um, I think when I sense that, I'm just like, ah, uh, I got to get the fuck out of here. And I, I start making my way back to the party. Okay. All right. So a few minutes, a few minutes pass while you're investigating. So meanwhile, Shadrick, uh, what are you going to do? You have a few minutes as an owl. Um, um, I think he'll take flight and just like start surveying like the area, see if he can see where the party's at in that direction. Mm -hmm. Like just kind of see what's going on back there before he decides yeah, whether or not he's going to go over there. The idea is to like survey a little bit and then, yeah, then eventually swoop down where he sees like a clearing that looks relatively safe. Okay, yeah, I mean, as the as the owl flies, you're pretty close to the edge of the woods, so you can you can fly back over there. Mm -hmm. Adam, how far? Flybys. How far did it, or how long did it take me to get here? Would I remember that? Um, I mean, how how long how long would Shadrick's like temper have lasted at a rate of 50, 50 feet per six seconds? Right, like if Shadrick, <laughs> let's imagine Shadrick is angry for like a full minute right so that's this is starting to sound rounds. a word problem i don't like it <laughs> so times 50 feet you would have gone 500 feet so if shadrick is pissed off for a full minute i, I let's you know what i think it's reasonable to assume shadrick would have been pissed off for like five minutes so if shadrick five minutes seems like gnome a, was pissed off and went into the <laughs> at a so rate six, of six 60 seconds to a minute right so five minutes divided by six seconds so 50 rounds 50 times 50 2,500 feet. So we got 2,500 feet into the woods. But for you, 2,500 feet, what's your movement rate if you uh, if you move, double move? It's 60, right? 60, yeah. So it would have taken you 41 rounds times six seconds around, 246 seconds. So like five minutes. You're 4.1 minutes away Okay. from the camp if you jog. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. I start going back then. And they said they said that we would never use math. Um, so yeah, okay, <laughs> all right. So you, you turn around and and at a, a jogging speed, it'll take you about four minutes. Uh, Shadrick, however, uh, travels at a rate of 60, uh, 60 feet twice per round, right? One hundred twenty feet. So Shadrick, you get to the edge, uh, back to the edge of the woods, no time. Um, and you see when you land on the the little branch, you can see the the field. You can also see with your owl eyes. You can see like little mice running around in the field. Your, your little owl stomach gurgles slightly, um, and then you see uh, on the far side, you see the two the two little houses. Uh, you binocular in on them. 
Kalimat and Jara, what are you doing at the house when Aldric sees you uh, at, a, at a distance? I'm trying to make the place ready. Like, I'm, I'm like, trying to make the place ready for, for the ambush. Like, moving bushes or moving, like, whatever. Looking for a place that I, we can pop out from. Whatever. Um, I kind of want to know, like, uh, where... Where's the road that these people are going to be traveling on? Or is there a road? Excuse me. There is, there is a path uh, that will bring them uh, probably in that way. Uh, on the, okay, okay. On the, old, the old map arena there. Um, so they'll, they'll probably come into this little central clearing area. They'll water the horses by the creek and uh, fill up on whatever supplies they need. Okay, Great. so I'm I'm basically looking for the best place to set up, um, like blinds and stuff for us to hide behind or or stuff like that. And I'm just I'm kind of surveying the area, trying to think of the best way to 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 kill everybody. <laughs> basically, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you have you have access to the thing. If you want to make like an investigation check and ask me some questions. This is what the map looks like. You know the path they're coming in. Um, yeah, make a um, make a survival check. That's for doing ambushes, uh, and then okay. you can ask me ask me some things to help you in your preparation. Okay, you said survival. Yeah, survival's for. Like, or you say investigation? Traps. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, I think survival. If you if you're looking at well, survival is for like setting the trap. Uh, investigation would be maybe if you're like looking for helpful things. So what do you? Okay. What's your what's your like intention here? Uh, first, first it's investigation, and then it's survival. So I'll keep that survival roll, and then I'll investigate okay. and go. Yeah, it looks good. And then I'll start. <laughs> then I'll start setting. I mean, up. you're like you're blind, so like you need Ramus or uh, not Ramus. You need Jadar to help you, right? Like, why would I J even? Jadar, are you participating in this this affair mm -hmm. or? This is the first I time think... that I forgot that I was blind. Yeah, I think um, Jadara is walking the circle of death and just looking at like how ha on this side everything's alive on that side it's all dead and tracing it to find out how sure. wide it goes and that's like what she's currently doing is investigating hmm. it okay so you see you see you see Kalimat like standing looking thoughtful um yeah but uh not not to much effect unfortunately what Kalimat why why not just stab him? Why did you have to use the bell? It, it called to me. It's it told me that it was time. Maybe it didn't. Something told me it was time. I don't know. Does it does it speak to you? No. It doesn't speak to me. It's more like hunger. Your stomach doesn't speak to you, but it tells you it's hungry. Hmm. The bell doesn't speak to me, but it tells me it wants to ring. After he died, did you feel any different? No. Hmm. Couldn't help but notice that you cut yourself on the arm there. What's that about? I'm I'm sorry to Oh. Oh. Sorry. Oh, so I did. Yeah, no, if you want to play that, if you want to play that off as like being like, oh, I must have got hit, hurt in the fight or whatever, that's that's fine. Uh, you'd have to make a deception check uh, just to, to kind of get past Jadara's screw. Will do. Will do. Yeah. How about oh, a 20? Damn. <laughs> All right, Jadara, you can, make an, you can make an inside check. No, I mean, there you go. Ooh. So J Jadara, Kalimat just must, he just must have got nicked in the fight. Did, did the creature scratch you or something? I'm not sure. It's. I don't know. It feels like it feels like a sharp cut. I'm not sure. 
Uh, I don't know. Well, it, if you feel like doing it again, at least, at the very least, just warn us first. Is that it does hurt us. Something about its power. I tried to. I tried to this time. I, I just didn't know. I didn't know the range of its power. I told everyone to leave, but next time I will be more, more urgent and more. <laughs> just, just be careful, Calamite. You're important now. You're not going to be good to anyone if you're dead. And who knows what will happen if that you die with that in you. See, that's the thing. It's not my time yet. I have much more to do. And speaking of much more to do, how are we going to set this up? We have an ambush to prepare for. No? Well, you can't see it, Kalimata. I'm going to have to have you feel it. Come here. I lead you to the nearest tree. Uh, this was alive before you rang the bell, but feel it now. Its branches are bare. It's withered. Yes, that's... I mean, we're, we're both aware of what the bell can do. Well, at I least just, parts of it. I didn't know it, it would affect plants in all forms of life. But the problem is, there's this giant area of dead crops and grass and trees, and it just seems unnatural. It's a perfect circle of death around the house. That's as far as the bell rings, I guess. Yeah, it's just... We could prop. We might be able to use this, but we're going to have to do a different type of ambush. I'm, I'm ready. I'm fully willing to use this to our advantage. Can you see, can you tell me how many paces from... You said it's a perfect circle, right? Yes. Can you tell me how many paces from the center it is? And maybe we can get some sort of idea as to its uh, range. If I had to guess, based on my calculations, it's probably a 60 foot radius or 30 foot. Well, what's great, yeah, what's great about it is that you can actually see, like you can see the the exact edge of the, this is the first time like bullshit d, &D measuring is is actually possible because you can see the edge of the sphere. Yeah, it's about 120 feet across, give or take. An, I don't have an exact measurement with me, but I had to guess. All right. So if I'm standing at the center, you would have to be 20 paces away, 25 to be safe. Let's just say how far I could move in six seconds, just... <laughs> count to Damn six it. and as count to six and as far away from you as I can get, that's how far I can get. It's safe. <laughs> well, so once we get everybody back together again, have them look and see how far the how far the bell reaches. I'm I don't think I don't know if I can control how uh, wide the destruction will be, but just to be safe. That's what I think we should do. I think I'm, if I was in a central location to the, wherever they're coming in and I can obviously play the blind man and you've seen that. So mm -hmm. I could lure them in, give them a sense of, of safety and then annihilate them all. Perhaps. Yeah. I mean, you guys survived, 
So maybe they all wouldn't die. But I definitely could hurt them. The belt definitely could be used against a group of them. That would be a big surprise. I just worry that our Corey might be in the radius. We might accidentally harm her. We have to keep her alive, remember. Is there a way we can um, take her out of the situation before anything else happens? A tele like teleport, make her float, fly, something? I've seen... Seen. <laughs> Such a strange yeah. word to say now. Um, I've seen my former, well, a companion of mine could make things float, could make things fly. Do you have yeah. any of those kind of magic tricks that you can do? That's a whole different class of magic than what I have access to, I think. Mm. I have more tricks of the eye, of the mind. But I don't. Hmm. They may leave her once they see this scene. They'll probably leave her inside with guards and send someone over here to investigate. Thus, splitting the party oh. briefly. Do we even know who she is and how what importance she has? On it, unfortunately, we don't. Normally, we'd have some sort of information about that, but. In this case, I have no idea. She could be a powerful wizard. She could be someone with a lot of wealth. She must be important to the cultists, to the cult, if we're here to retrieve just her by herself. Well, wouldn't be the first time I was sent out on some mission thrown into a, a grinder. I'm wondering if this will be the same. <clears throat> Well, since I can't see, I think it's up to you three. Well, possibly two now, because Shadrick is off sulking somewhere. Yes. I just hope he returns. We may need his magics for this ambush, but how to convince him to kill a bunch of people is going to be hard. I might be able to convince him. I don't think he likes me, so I think you'll have to. I don't know if he likes me anymore, <laughs> to be honest. I know. After what... If anyone have seen what we saw in there, a lesser person would have cracked immediately. Such things should not be seen by eyes. Hmm. Well, where's Yoji? He went off he to hasn't, find him. He hasn't yeah, chimed like, up. I, think, I haven't heard him. Or yeah, I think all this. I think all this talk of the two of them is a good time to cut back to them. So Shadrick, you see Kalimat and Jadara just like standing out in the open talking. Uh, Jadara <laughs> does a little bit of pacing back and forth. They seem to be measuring something in footsteps. Um, <laughs> but you can yeah like you, you yeah and then turns and like says something to Kalimat. You can't hear them, but you can see them uh, at a yeah. distance. Uh, okay. Do you want to just, mm. just wait? It doesn't look like anything's changed. It seems like they're just planning for the, for the thing. Um, I mean, this, this I would be a point them? where... Can my owl ears hear them? No, no, no. They're, they're pretty far away. Owls um, have magnificent hearing, I, I think. <laughs> I don't have any scientific basis on that. I'm just saying Definitely. words in the hopes that I can get some kind of advantage on this role. Do you uh, remember when I tried to ping the forest? Keen sight and keen sight and hearing. Keen sight and hearing. Yeah, make a make a perception check. Make a perception check. Yeah. Um, so you use your own wisdom. Uh, so roll a d twenty, and add uh, your wisdom modifier plus three. Three with my wisdom modifier plus three. Yeah, what's your wisdom modifier? Five. Very wise. So plus eight. Well, you do have great hearing. You get advantage. Roll it again. Right. Jesus Christ, man. I'm trying. You know, you ask me for this horse shit, and I go out of my way to make sure it's possible. 
<laughs> I look at the character, I check, <laughs> chat <laughs> chats all up my ass about how great owl hearing is, and you're over here just like hoot hoot, motherfucker. I can't hear shit. <laughs> no, you don't hear anything. You hear your own owl farts. There's no I one talking. You no. Owls That's are what cursed. You're saying to Man, owls just suck in this universe. They're just they the do. fucking yeah. worst. They can't hey, do fuck shit. <laughs> There's an old. I gotta work in some, at some point. Like I don't know, hundred another hundred episodes now. Like the story of how owl got cursed. We'll do like a prequel, another primordial one. We'll t talk about the owl god and how he just got fucked over by all the other yeah, gods. It's just bad. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, no, you're like really distracted by like how hungry you are for like a, ba a big bag of mice. Um, and then I think you <laughs> yeah. hear, I think you hear, Yo I think you hear Yoji coming, coming back because Yoji's moving faster this time. And you hear, right. uh, you hear him like move from, you, he moves from the woods out into the, the, uh, the clearing and you see him, you see him emerge. Gotcha. Do you um, hoot at him or do you just watch him go? Uh, no, I watch him go and I want to attempt to shit on Jadara from above. Uh, so you're going to fly all the way over to Jadara and try to... You know that owls don't poop like regular birds, right? Wait, it's not like, like the white... Tell me, like, tell me your they got the, they got the like They got the like pellets. Owl pellets. They, they owl barf poop. up like all the bones. They, yeah, yeah, they hork stuff up. That's even like better. Hork stuff up. <laughs> like but I don't think... No, I don't think it's that like... I don't think it's that... I don't know. Let me look. Let's, let's see. You can't do a drive-by belching, is what you're trying to say? Like, they have to be... Yeah, like, like they, they, they to gotta kind of hook it up. Who are you to tell me, Adam, that my fantasy deaf motherfucking owl can't <laughs> poop in the way that I want to? How dare you? It's my I job. My it's literally place. it's literally my job. It's true. Um, what are you, some, co okay, look, are you some kind of master of this realm? Yeah, some kind of... Listen, if you were doing things that mattered, it would make my job seem more important, but you're trying to poop on your friend here. Um, <laughs> yes, I, I think you can you can expectorate some kind of, like, owl-related post-food matter on Jadara if you'd like to. Yes. But uh, I don't know what the opposed role is here. Like, you can't really stealth through the sky. I guess perception? I guess, yeah. I mean, you sort of can. Well, no, like, it'll be an attack roll to, like, aim the poops. Poop. <laughs> okay, so, all right, do you want to try to be stealthy? Do you want to try to, like, fly? Because, you know, owls, you can fly low and, like, try to, you know, try to keep them from, from keep Jadara from seeing you. you do yeah, that? No, this is like a precision shot from, all right. like, above. Well, you, you make, you make a stealth. Invoke, you know, Jadara trying to kill the fucking owl. <laughs> you make a stealth, make a stealth check first. Go ahead and make a stealth right. check first. Bow. Pretty okay. good. Okay, now Jadara, make a perception check. Hmm. 17 versus a 17 uh, 17 okay now let me let me check the numbers on this here because okay yeah yeah uh all right okay and then perception <coughs> yeah, okay so it's a tie ties go to the defender jara you see a bird flying in your direction an owl not like you know aimed at you ready to take a shit but like you just Love see you. an owl like you know flying in your direction mm. well i Step out of the way because I know birds like to poop. So just, <laughs> sure I'm not, not under it, uh -huh. so move to the side. See what it does. I mean, can you make can you make a nature check for me, just real quick? <laughs> okay. All right, you got okay. ten. Birds do indeed like to poop. That's the thing. They poop on people. You know that. <laughs> you, you just you just go like go inside. I mean, okay. So here's the thing. Kali Kalimat is standing right next to you. Mm. So let's here. Let me just football game this shit. Where's that owl? All right. So here we go. So the owl Do your best is coming at voice. you. Yeah. Right. The owl. The owl's coming at you down the lane this way. Right. We're seeing this owl. The owl's barreling down in this direction. Now, if you want, Jadara, if you want to wait until the last possible second to leap out of the way, then the owl might lay that stinky egg right on top of your boy Calimot, who, as a blind person, would not be able to dodge out of the way. So, <laughs> alternately, you could uh, play. You could do the defensive play, and you could just go inside, and nobody's got to get pooped on today. You got the wind coming in from this direction, so the owl's gonna have to understand <laughs> that there's gonna be a little bit of a cross breeze and compensate accordingly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they were playing in Green Bay last week, and they were doing just <laughs> fine. The owls were flying; it was great. <laughs> Unfortunately, the owl the owl has underinflated his poops. 
And so uh, you're going to have to compensate <laughs> for that. <laughs> wow, he made a sports ball reference. I am impressed. That is, yeah. So basically, <laughs> we got to get old. sports commentators to play D and D and senators. That's what. That's so yeah. far where we're at right now. Senator sports ball. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I, so, I think uh, this Jara, you currently senator. have the initiative. There is an incoming owl that may or may not be ready to poop on you. What are you gonna do? Uh, I with seeing it coming at me. I'm just. I no reason to think it's doing anything bad. So just step away, like over this way, just to. So it flies by, right. but if it... All right, so Shadrick, Shadrick, you see the, the target of your poops clearly clock you and then move uh, move away. It's going to be a real hard time to swing in there with that poop bomb now. But Calimat is just standing there. Calimat it is. <laughs> okay, perfect, good. Make a, uh, let's see, uh, make a, use the owl. Use the owl character sheet. Okay. And uh, go ahead and just make a... Um, Make a dexterity roll with advantage against Kalimat's armor class. Dexterity roll. So just rolling your dexterity. You're not proficient with hurling your own poop onto people. Can I uncanny dodge this? Uh, what is the? Okay, let's bring out the rule book, everybody. What's the what's the wording on uncanny dodge? Is it? It reduces uncanny the damage dodge, of the poop. When, a, when an attacker that you can see is a first sense. So no, oh, I can't. Yeah, can't unfortunately, <laughs> you, you get pooped on. But it's just like a dry owl poop. It's not like you don't get splattered. But like someone throws a ball of kind of smelly fur and dirt at you, and like bounces off of your shoulder, and, and as, 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 as it happens, and it connects. Your... Yeah, <laughs> like some owl laughter. Cool. Yeah, an owl just pooped on you. Uh, where do you where do you go after that? Me, Shadrick. Do you? Yeah. Where do you where do you finish your bombing run here? Uh, are there any tall trees in the area? Yeah, there's one like right over here. Yeah, we'll go perch up into that. Okay, all right. You're still an owl, but you know you you fly. Try to be kind of concealed. Fly by, obviously not just like bank that. Hey, I'm at the top branch looking. (laughs) Okay, so you want to hide hide in the tree? All right, make make that stealth roll. As the owl. Yes, as the owl. You're still the owl. (laughs) (laughs) You and the owl have the same. Nothing about this in the comments, in the forums. YouTube comments. Okay. This is important D and D that we're doing right now. What's happening? This has so weight. when when you come back, Yoji. So Yoji, you come you come running back. Uh, <clears throat> My pass is see... perception sixteen, by the way. Uh, yes, yeah. So you see that <laughs> same that same ass owl up in the tree over here. You see, Kalima, Kali what are you doing? Like holding this owl poop, like looking around, or like brushing your cloak off, or what's <clears throat> what's Kalima doing when Yoji was jogging up? I mean, is it? Is it surprising or is it just like? I mean, oh, it, it's just like someone throws a clod of dirt at you, and and like you just feel like thump, it hits you and like falls on you. Well, then I I would I would ask Jadara, Jadara, what? did you throw something at me? No, I, it's like some bird may have released on you. <laughs> oh, great. Mm-hmm. And I can't even see if I where the stain is or anything. <clears throat> Wonderful. This is where I walk. Yeah, that's like, it. It felt like a pretty dry poop, so you'll you'll probably be okay. Yeah. Was this about when I <laughs> show up, Adam? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm looking at I'm looking at a owl poop diagram. Um, no problem. <laughs> yeah, they just, just look like little tracks. balls of dirt. Yeah, there's just little ball. Yeah, that's I mean, this is the part fine. where Yoji. This is the part where Yoji walks over, picks it up, and goes. Still warm. <laughs> I just walk up like a Kalamot, kind of look at the ground, look over at Jadar, look back at Kalamot. Hey, did you get pooped on by a bird? I, I assume so. That's what that's what Jadara said. Uh, do I see the owls out of the corner of my eye in the tree? Adam? Yeah, you see, you, you see this little 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 feathery motherfucker sitting up in the tree, just kind of like looking. Oh, all right. I see what's going on here. This is stupid, y'all. Can we just come together as a group over here, Shadrick? I'm just staring at the tree. I know it's you. All right. I lost track of some gnome feet over there in the forest. I don't know what attacked you, but why the fuck is an owl going to be out here during the day? Wait a minute. Yoji, Yoji, are you saying that? I'm saying Shadrick Shadrick turned himself into an owl and and defecated on me. Yeah, he shit on you as an owl. That's what I'm saying. And he's right over there. I'm pointing at him right now. And he's just making bird noises. 
We ain't got time for this, mm. Shadrick. You see Shadrick, uh, you see the owl, like, feign, like, dying and, like, fall down. And, like, just, yeah, just barreling to the ground. And then right before, right before it hits the ground, spreads its wings open like that. And then goes, <laughs> tumbles forward, like, as, as, as Shadrick. Make an acrobatic <laughs> check. <laughs> just make an acrobatic check. Damn it! Just as, Let me have my Shadrick. cool moments. I'm gonna it let don't ask me for them. Ask them for the ask the dice. Oh, nope, honey. don't get it. So instead, instead you fall out of you literally you said the tallest tree. Uh, you you fall out of the tree, barrel towards the ground. When I did this. this owl dive bombs out of the tree, hurls towards the ground, turns into Shatter at the last second, uh, and takes thirteen damage. Uh, and now he's prone. Just fuck you, fuck you. I so much. listen. I didn't. I didn't do it. You did it. You did it to yourself. Enjoy your 13 damage. So yeah, Shadrick is just laying kind of like on his face with his legs up in the air. They kind of like laying on the ground. There's feathers like receding back into his skin. Do you have fun over this, Shadrick? I'm not done lawyering this. All right. You're telling me. <laughs> in my owl form, I need to make an acrobatics check. Yet I did all this flying around before and pooping on people. Your acrobatics, your acrobatics maneuver, your acrobatics maneuver was to dive bomb the ground, and then as you pull up, change back into your form. An owl. Losing, you losing. Yeah, yes, Max. All owls are born with the natural ability to change into a gnome at a moment's notice at the no, 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 zener no, 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 no. of a, a dive bomb. No, 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 the dive bomb was not the problem. Let's it was the, the shape shifting. Let's rewind the tape for a second. <laughs> I did not turn into Shadrick until I had the idea, perhaps I misspoke, okay. was to dive bomb, uh -huh. spread my wings out, yeah. flatten out, and then tumble and then tumble forward as as Right. Shadrick. And where where did all your falling momentum go when you turn back into Shadrick? It's not as bad as you think it. The, the momentum goes forward. So if anything, I'm gonna tumble you forward. You fell on like your that. face. Yeah, you so fell on saying, your face. Okay, I gave you okay, I gave so you the acrobatics this, roll to, to not crash. With which that I was tumbling forward inflicted 13 damage. If that's yes, what you're saying, yes. then one d six, one d six for every ten feet, like that. Oh no, no, you, yeah, yeah, sure. You could, you could try to pull up and like bail out halfway and then fall on your face. The acrobatics roll was to tumble gracefully and then mm -hmm. land and be like, ta-da! But you, you flubbed it and you fell. Next time, yeah. I'll tell you what. Next time, now I know. Next time, <laughs> I'm falling as an owl and I intend to tumble. Yes, next time. Any damage, I will. Yes. Make a cautious, land first. I will make a cautious effort to stop my momentum. Yes, and yeah, land case, first and then turn, turn back into to stop my momentum, and no. I'm gonna fuck that up, and it'll be fine. No, no, you can land. Landing is easy. Uh -huh. You just tried to show off, and there was a roll, mm -hmm. and you failed the roll. It wasn't my fault. You rolled me. <sighs> Looks like happen. the coach's challenge has <laughs> gone unimpeded. <laughs> He's lost the timeout on the field. <laughs> <laughs> rolling on the field stands. Uh, Thirteen damage to Shadow. All you needed, all you needed was a ten, man. It was the it was the easiest possible check you could make mm -hmm. according to the standard rule. I understand. And you get creative, get punished. You threw, you threw let's let's move on. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Shadrick or uh, Max, welcome, welcome to my world. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know what, Max? Uh, both your eyes will just blast out of your head. They just fly <laughs> out of your head and evaporate into space. And then your legs fall off. Yeah. So you're double screwed. It's accurate. <laughs> it's accurate. Uh, All right. So. I still say the same thing. Uh, Shattuck, you having fun over there? I used to be very, 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 very graceful as an owl. He's like dusting himself off. Right. Hey, what was that in the forest that attacked you? Or chased you, or whatever it was? I saw tracks, and then you were gone. So I assume you turned into this owl to get away. Yes, I did. That was some sort of... Wicked beast of a boar, tentacles flying about, bunch of eyes and mouths and even a beak. Some sort of weird beast thing, not natural. Yet, proof again that this forest is suffering because of that. Points at Kalimant. You think that uh, what he just did caused that? Because it caused all this. And I kind of like point to the 
dead well, everything. What else do you think? They weren't dead before. That thing clearly calls creatures and beasts of ill variety. Yeah. That means they're probably coming here right now. Probably. Great. Maybe. You want to go uh, turn into an owl again, see if you can see him? I suppose I can. Okay. I did, I did some flying around before, and I didn't see anything else. Right, I didn't see anything else. It was just I did like, um, a survey. That's what I was doing before. I was surveying the area. Yeah, let's let's have our like a retroactive investigation right check when you're flying around out here. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> like, did I see anything else? Uh, so we want me to roll as as the owl like perception. Uh, investigation. Uh, you can roll it as as you. Because this is you, like, parsing what you saw earlier. It wasn't so much about seeing. Investigation. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's the there was the woods. There's the little farm. Uh, you didn't see any other scary stuff in the woods because you were fleeing from it. But once you got outside, yeah, I mean, you saw the the kind of, like, little dirt road that leads down from the, uh, from, from wherever, wherever it goes, like, over the, it's over the horizon, but the world's flat. Far away into the haze. Uh, and you figure probably that you, like you spotted the, this a wagon, you don't know if it's the wagon, but you spotted a wagon, uh, and it was on its way here. You figure at normal pace, probably it'll get here just before nightfall. Okay. So you're saying I didn't see any other creatures, but I saw the wagon. Yeah. You saw the wagon. You, you got maybe like, I don't know. You got here relatively early in the day. So like nine or ten hours if you're lucky mm -hmm. that's the same then well i was flying around before i i didn't see any more of these creatures so we're okay for now yeah didn't well, see wagon though it'll be here around night time nine maybe ten hours this just keeps getting worse before we move on do you and Kali need to have a conversation and just smooth things out or whatever's going to happen. I don't know. Does he plan on killing more innocent people? No, but three of us actually do. And uh, they're in that caravan. So if that's an issue, let's just put that out on the table and talk about it. Do either of you even know why you do any of this? Or do you just do it? Uh, there's some... Who are you? I think all of us call him out. But for me, there's some higher goal here. So that's why I do it. Might not be the cleanest or the prettiest, but that higher goal is worth causing this destruction and killing of innocent people. I don't think you realize what you're doing with that bell or what this cult ultimately decides to do. I am not convinced. I'm very much convinced that they are a horrible cult, that they mean death and destruction and that that those who are in charge of it, have brainwashed you all to do their bidding and find them larger sources of power so they can continue to grow and have control and power. <clears throat> I've seen it way too many times before to not recognize it again. And unless you can give me a reason to keep doing this with you and support you, I see no reason why I should help. Why are you here in the first place? Good because customers. of you. Not, not you, but that bell inside you. To make sure that that doesn't harm people and fall into the wrong hands. Well, it sure as shit looks like it's in the wrong hands from where I stand. I think it's in the hands of... Shadrick, make a, Shadrick, make a, make a persuasion check. I'm going to use my inspiration. Okay, yeah, do it. 19. Okay, nice. All right. Uh, Zeke, I'll let you, <clears throat> I'll let you, you obviously you're, you're two thirds in control of your own character. Um, but uh, mm. I, I will, I will invite you to allow Shadrick's argument to insert just like a little bit of doubt. The idea that maybe this thing is too dangerous for you to handle, whether you have that feeling already, whether you, you're like, no, no, that can't be true. Whether that uh, evinces itself uh, outwardly, but something in what he says, some part of you is like, Huh. 
Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Well, let's play this out, Chadwick. If you had your way, out of curiosity, what would you have me do? I wouldn't return to this cult. I'd leave it. And I'd find a way elsewhere to find others who may understand the bell and don't have an ulterior motive to be power hungry and gain control. Look what they're doing to the forest. I know you can't see, Kalimat, but this forest, it's fucked. Because of that, the thing that's inside you and them. And you have Jadar and Yoji pretending that they're on some noble mission when Jadar is just consumed with revenge. It's a means to an end for Jadara. She doesn't care who she gets in, in the way of and who she kills. Clearly. And Yoji's so whipped by Jadara that he's going to go along with it. Hey. Because they have some past relationship and issues. Shadrach, you watch your tongue. Be very careful. Shadrach. Tell me I'm wrong, Yoji. Tell me that Shadrach. there's no history there. That's keeping you here. No, what's keeping me here no reason. is Kalimat. That's why I'm here. And that's why you're here. That's why you're here the entire time, because you're the good boy. All right? You're the one that keeps us moral. You're the one that stops us from murdering innocents out there, because this is going to happen anytime we do it. Doesn't mean it's not going to happen all the time, but more often than not, I'll side with you on that. Shadrick, why are you alone? Gnomes are such social creatures. Why are you by yourself? Because everyone that is a part of my family, Jadar, is dead. And those that call themselves my family have changed. They used to be good people, but now they're not. So you might think on that. And when I I'm say sorry. I know the changes that happen in people. I know. I'm not speaking I out of ignorance. I lost my entire family, too. Well, they were a family to me. The only one I ever knew. I know what it's like to lose everyone you love and be alone and not know what to do. But then, did the woods bring you comfort when you were alone? For a time, yes. They still do. So you can understand why it upsets me when I see them warped and twisted in this way. So in a way, it's like we're harming the only family you have left, which is the forest. This is news to you? Of course. This is not some epiphany. Look at me. I live and breathe with the forest. Of course it's all I have left. My connection with nature. And it means nothing to you. Yet you seek my help. I see no reason to. The question still remains. What would you have me do? If you were me, what would you do? I would get away from this cult. I would well, start doing their bidding and living in ignorance in the shadows, having no the, idea what they plan on doing. You've made that quite clear, and now you're repeating yourself. That's in the immediate future. What would you do if you had the bell? Imagine I yourself see. far away from the cult. Find those who are trustworthy. Albeit, I know that that's going to be a hard task. Find those that perhaps can understand the bell, but do not have evil in their hearts. Learn to understand it, 
and then separate it from yourself, if possible. I don't think one mortal was meant to control that bell the way you are. I don't know if it even can happen in the way that you want. But I so do Yoji, know for certain. If you Yoji keep... and Jadari, you know, you know that he's like what he's saying is what he's saying is true, and it reminds you that, like the bell, the bell was buried, and this creature uh, that that was inhabiting it, or however that worked, it was buried and entombed using strange magic by a race of people none of you recognize deep under this ancient wood. And since digging it up, it, it hasn't, it's, it's only attracted strange abominations, right? It's, it's drawn these terrible creatures, which, Jadar, you know why they want them, right? You know the, the purpose. And Yoji, for you, like, you directly benefit from, from the cult's rituals. Right. Um, but he's, I mean, he's not wrong. There is some, there's some reason that it was, uh, it was uh, entombed below the earth. Also, Mark, 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 Mark Inspiration Max. Yeah, you got it back. <laughs> <laughs> if you keep that bell inside you for much longer, Kalimant, mark my words, it will destroy you. Well, how are we going to get it out, Shadrick? I don't know. But I know that your cult has no idea what they're doing with it. Of course they're just not. just as lost as you are. Of course not. He's a tool. They're using him. We all know that. That's not a big secret. Kalimant knows that. But it's going to serve some greater purpose, I'm sure. I'm just not privy to that. That's why I keep doing this. Now, if you want to go somewhere else and not be a part of this because you can't stand it, it seems like you run away from your problems all your life. So, by all means, there's a forest over there. I'm sure it needs you. Run away from my problems. That's what you think I've done all my life. You know nothing about me, boy. Yet you seem to know everything about them. Or am I, remembering, am I remembering incorrectly how you were spouting about how Jatara feels and what Yoji's motivations are, like you knew what was inside of their mind? Because I'm good at reading people and I'm old, Kalimat. How old are you, Shepard? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Old enough. Give me a number. <laughs> I actually hadn't placed a specific number on him. He is very yeah, old. yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I know I was like just so, gonna. They can live up to like three hundred years, can't they? Yeah, I think so. Um, let me let me see if there's a if there's a table for how long. Because you're you're old. You're an old gnome. Um, mm -hmm. and we know that we know that Yoji's got at that magic age. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, I think like upwards of, upwards of like, they die when they're like four or 500, like gnomes can be, gnomes can be pretty yeah. old. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted them to be fairly old in terms of gnomes standards. Uh, they can so... live to, yeah, they can live to, they can live to 350 to 500 years. So yeah. if you're I'll old, you, like, you I'll place them at like 370. You really need the number, do you? Fine. 370 years old. All right. Well, I got about 200 years on you, so don't ever call me boy again. You understand that? That's fine. Now, the reason I serve this cult is because they've kept me alive this long. All right? We've done more harm than good. You just haven't been here for it because you were off fucking around in some forest with some other leader that you've now pissed off, I guess. Now, if you want to come here and lecture us and continue doing this, sure, stick around. But once again, the force is right over there. You can leave whenever you want. We got a caravan coming. If you're not with us, you're against us. Make a decision. You've lived that long unnaturally, huh? That must take a toll on you, Yoji. I feel great. You wanna make a you wanna make a you wanna make a deception nah. check there, Yoji? Or? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will definitely make a deception you like, check. You Shepard eyeball him and you're like all. You're like, I feel great. And then you let's well, let's see if that's true. Sure. Eleven. <laughs> okay, make a make an insight check, Shadrick. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's clearly bluster, right? Like Yoji is a 
tortured man. Yeah, so Shadrick like stares at you and like, mm, I hear your words, but you're not being honest, Yoji. You're right. If your intention is to slaughter this these innocent people, then I won't have a part of it. And at that, Shadrick just goes back into a bird <laughs> and leaves. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Shadrick. you. Uh, you- Unless you, yeah, unless you say something beforehand. You can get an opportunity, yeah. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> Shadrick. I believe in fate. I believe I'm destined for something. I also believe that you're a part of that. You were put in my path for that reason. What if I made a deal with you? A deal would be we finish this. We do what we have to do. And then we say goodbye to the cult. Whether or not Jadar and Yoji come with, that's up to them. What would you say to that? I would... Jadrick looks at Jadara and Yoji. It's entirely up to whether or not they're going to honor this. You may want this. But they're clearly allegiant to the cult. I am not. They have... deceived me. I have sworn no allegiance. The only allegiance I have, or the only <clears throat> contract I have with them is a verbal one, that once this job is done, I will get something that I very badly want. After that, I plan on leaving and searching that out. And if I have to fight my way out, I will. And I will win. Kalimat, why would I stay and murder people that are innocent? Because of what the cult says. It still brings us back here. Because There's no reason for me to do that. What, on a leap of faith? For you? No. No. So you can keep an eye on the bell, which is me. Don't you? Would you rather risk not being around me and possibly changing my mind or leading me on to removing it somehow? Or would you leave now and just hear about the destruction I have left in my wake? Well, it appears that we're all operating under the assumption that I'll just flee and forget about this. That is not true. As Yoji said, I'm not with you. I must, by definition, be against you. That's not necessarily true. You don't have to be against us. I'd much rather you be with us. Shadrick, there is no leaving for you. I uh, draw an arrow from my quiver when he says that. Mm-hmm. I'm attempting in the same thing, unless we're going to do initiative or whatever. I'm I'm busting out as a. As I an mean, owl. <laughs> I mean, I feel like yeah, I feel like we let's let's take the break here, right? On this Ooh, moment of like, shit. there's no leaving for you, and like weapons come out, and we're like, shit's real, <laughs> uh, and then yeah, and then we and we go to we go to break there. Sounds good. All right, All right. <laughs> take a break. This is uh we haven't had a cliffhanger like this in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a break. We'll be right back with more quarter Swords right after this. Unless you're on YouTube, have fun waiting 48 hours. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <fine. laughs> 